I pulled out the Hive Chapter 20. The voice of the Red Queen came out within the experiment. In the laboratory computer, the structure of the Hive is also displayed. As well as thermal imaging of the distribution of some personnel. Chen Feng looked in front of the computer. Through the stereoscopic image, he can clearly see the whole of the Hive. At this moment, the Hive has been completely filled into the mine. The Hive is divided into seven layers. Floors 1 to 3 are areas where security personnel are located and accommodation for researchers. The fourth to fifth floors are laboratories for postgraduate studies of chemical weapons. As for the sixth and seventh layers, it is where the biological weapons and the main engine of the Red Queen are stored. There is also a command room. At this time, the voice of the Red Queen came again, Commander, all the personnel in the base have rushed to the hall on the sixth floor, waiting for your instructions. Chen Feng spoke. Just let some of the top ones stay, and others let them do their jobs. Chen Feng didn't want to meet hundreds of people at once. Just meet a few high-level executives. The Red Queen was after receiving Chen Feng's order. Immediately began to notify the people at the base through the internal network. Dot dot dot. The command room on the sixth floor of the hive. There are more than a dozen people sitting at the moment. These dozen or so people are all high-level members of the hive base. Chen Feng walked into the command room at this time. As soon as he entered the command room, more than a dozen people in the command room stood up directly. I've seen the commander. Chapter 19. Tyrant 002 Experimental Subject. Crazy biotech. Chen Feng glanced at everyone in the command room. These people are basically Western. There were researchers in white lab coats, and there were officers in military uniforms. Sit down. Chen Feng waved his hand. Everyone quickly took their seats, and everyone's eyes were full of respect when they looked at Chen Feng. Chen Feng asked, Introduce yourself. Chen Feng didn't know the staff inside this hive. These people are basically infected by the T virus at the beginning of the movie. Soon, an old man sitting on Chen Feng's right hand stood up. Report Commander, I'm Buru, head of the research and development of biological and chemical weapons in the hive. This old man had golden eyes, and the whole person looked very spirited. Chen Feng nodded and remembered the other party's name correctly. Soon, another woman stood up. Report Commander, I'm Anna, the head of the T-Virus R&D analysis. Chen Feng looked at the white woman with some surprise. Originally, in his opinion, the person who developed the T-Virus should also be an old man. I didn't expect to be so young. Then, an officer dressed in a military transfer also stood up. His physique was stronger than James's. Report Commander, Beehive Security Squad Leader White reports to you. The rest of the people also began to tell Chen Feng about their identity. After everyone has finished being introduced, Chen Feng asked, What is the main job of the hive now? Dr. Blue hurriedly said, Commander, we are currently studying the characteristics of the T-virus to develop birth weapons, which is also the task assigned to us by the company, but now we follow the commander and everything is subject to the commander's arrangement. Dr. Blue had an extremely respectful look on his face. Of course, Chen Feng knew what the other party was talking about. That's the umbrella company. This gold finger himself is not an ordinary strong. Taking people out of the movie is like brainwashing. Chen Feng spoke. Let's continue the research first, but pay attention to prevent the leakage of the T-virus. Dr. Blue quickly nodded. Please rest assured commander that our experiment has always been safe. Chen Feng then said, Commander, don't shout, just call my boss, by the way, you are telling me about some of the base's current capital reserves and some details. Hearing Chen Feng's words, a middle-aged man in a suit stood up. He is an administrator inside the hive base. Boss, the cash reserves in the hive have a total of 30 million US dollars, these funds are used to pay salaries, as for the purchase of materials for life. Basically the company transports materials over. Chen Feng listened carefully to the manager's introduction. He has also roughly understood the current situation of the hive. The hive is a completely enclosed underground base. Some of the ecological environment inside are well built and are very suitable for long-term living. The researchers and security guards who live here are not allowed by the umbrella company. You can't get out of the hive. And every other month, the umbrella company will send a batch of living materials over. It's just that these 30 million dollars might be useful if Chen Feng had been in his previous life. Available in this world. The monetary system is completely different, and 30 million dollars is like waste paper. It simply doesn't cost it. Chen Feng thought for a moment and asked. What are the research results of the laboratory now? Now Chen Feng still has to solve the problem of materials. Now hundreds of people eat. The living materials inside the hive simply cannot last long. Dr. Blue spoke. We have developed several drugs through the T-virus, which can greatly increase the quality of the human body, and we have also developed some biochemical weapons, the boss does not need to visit. Chen Feng nodded and said. Well, take me on a tour, you all go and get busy. At this meeting, Chen Feng only met with the high level of the hive. It can be regarded as an understanding between the two sides. After receiving Chen Feng's order, everyone in the command room quickly left. 
Chen Feng, on the other hand, followed Dr. Blue to a warehouse on the sixth floor of the hive. In this warehouse, there are a large number of agents and test tubes, all with various codes on them. 